Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very well. In today's video, I'm gonna get crafty. It's been a while since I've been crafty, but I am obsessed with like neon signs. I love a neon sign, I think they're amazing. I just, I'm just a very simple minded person and I get attracted to shiny things and bright things. I'm a magpie, okay, deep down. There's a magpie living inside of me. But yeah, as you can see, I've got this like mood lighting thing and I've always loved a mood light. I love candles, funky novelty lights, but I really wanted to get a, like a neon sign for myself, but they're very expensive, especially if you get them custom made. You're looking at like 500 pound for a decent size one. And I was like, honey, if I'm gonna spend 500 pound, it's gonna be on a tattoo, okay? So I thought, you know what? Let me see if I can like make my own somehow. It's obviously not gonna look exactly like a neon light because they use like those glass tubes. So it's, it's more like an LED light kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know how I even come across this. I'm not gonna lie to you. So it just, this idea just come about. I think I was just like looking on Hobbycraft as you do. And I'm not sure what I was even looking for. I don't know why I was on there. I honestly cannot tell you why I was on there. But I come across the fact that they had like these wooden letters that you fill them with, whether you fill them with like roses, flowers or glitter or whatever. You can make something pretty out of them. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I should make one like out of the tea or something for my channel. But then, and then like it, the ideas started snowballing. Uh, and then I was like, wait, what if I put those LED strips that I've got on the on my like spare bed here and I've got them on the TV downstairs as well. Like it makes the whole of the back of the TV like illuminate with whatever color you want. And they're like really flexible and you can stick that, they're sticky as well. You just stick them down. And I was like, what if I somehow put those on a fillable letter and make my own light up sign? I don't know where my brain was going with this, honestly. Anyway. I thought, yeah, let's do that. Like, it'll be cheaper than getting a neon sign and I can customize it and I can change the colors because when you get your own customizable neon sign, you can normally only have one color, but then if you want it to be color changing, you're looking at like a thousand, two thousand pound. I was like, no, 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 lady can't afford that. So this way I can put the LED strips. You can get that from Amazon for like 20 quid or 30 quid, 40 quid, depending on how long they are and how technical you want them to be. Some of them have like, apps so you can change the colors on your phone and turn them on and off on your phone and i for the one i've got here um i've just got like a little remote control that i can change the colors to whatever i want <laughs> and it kind of just changes as well you can sort of do so yeah you can make them like do this which is really freaking cool so it's just in the background changing the colors i'm gonna do a flash here so warning if you're sensitive to flashing so you can do something like that, which is pretty cool. Oh, that is very festive. But yeah, so something like that, it just gives me a lot more choice. So there, so Hobbycraft didn't have the letters that I needed, which was so annoying. They only had a few. I think they had like a an A and an L or something. And I was like, I don't, I don't want that. By the way, I'm making the word treacle. <laughs> I put on my Instagram stories, like, should I make the word tattoo or the word treacle and everyone was like treacle. I already have this like wooden sign here that says tattoos. I don't know if you can see that, but I got that from eBay for like 14 pound. It's like a plank of wood and someone's just painted on it. It's really cool. Luckily there's a Etsy store that do fillable letters. They kind of hand make them for yourself. You ask which letters you want. I'll leave a link down below to their store. Um, so I managed to get all the letters and it come to about 38 pound for seven letters. So here's an R for you. <laughs> so I've got the letter R right there. At the minute, obviously it's just a bit of wood. There's nothing much going on there to be honest. But what the plan is, is to paint them. I was thinking of going for like a white color or like a pearlescent glossy kind of white so it's a bit reflective. And what I was gonna do is stack them all on top of each other. So it'll be T, then R, E, A, C L E down in the line and then I don't know if you can see yeah you can so I've got like this little tapestry thing just there I was going to put them all in a line down there because I've got a plug down there as well which will be super handy to plug it in um so it's all going to just lay down like that but what I'm going to have to do my plan is to put a hole in the bottom of them somehow I don't know how, I need a drill or something. And then I'm gonna feed the LED lights upwards through. And then I'm gonna stick them around the edge like this. So it'll just go around like that and then it will come out the top there. And then this will go into the T, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm making sense. So here's the T. <laughs> you know, so I'll have a hole there 
and then a hole in the T. So I'm gonna have to stick them all together before I start drilling and stuff. And then the lights are gonna feed through there. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed that works. I've obviously never done anything like this before. Um, but it's just something to do and um, I thought I would like document everything and the process So then if you guys want to make your own little neon light or neon light LED sign, whatever you want to call it Then you guys can kind of just follow what I do and then learn from my mistakes if there is any um, So yeah, I thought I'd kind of document the whole process. So the next step really is to get the supplies and um so that's gonna be fun i need to get the led lights i need to get the paint i need to get some glue i need to somehow get a drill i'm hoping i can get a drill from somewhere oh, it's gonna be a tough process but hopefully it's gonna be so worth it i'm hoping i can get this done within a week or so i don't know the date that i'm filming this oh my god it's already 20 past 10 at night <laughs> um but it's uh wednesday it's wednesday my dudes um it's wednesday the 17th of february but yeah it's gonna be a fun ride and hopefully my vision comes into fr fru fruition fruit 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 <laughs> okay so i've been to b m and i've got some glossy paint <laughs> in pretty and white i went for the white and then I've got some no more nails wood adhesive to stick all the letters together. And then I've got some paint brushes <laughs> to paint the wood with. So I'm actually going to paint them now. Ryan Little. <laughs> So here I'm showing you guys that the paint that I was using was not sticking to the sides. It was fine um, for the bottom of it, like the T bit, but the edges, the paint was not sticking at all. So this is after one coat of the primer, as you can see it looks much better. I let that dry overnight and then the next day I did a second coat of primer just in case. I thought it would be better to be safe than sorry in this kind of situation. And here's the letters after the second coat of primer, again looking much better. And here I am the next day again, this time I am painting it with the actual paint that I tried to use the first time and this time it is sitting on there so much better, the wood is not sucking up the paint at all. <music> And this is what the letters look like all painted. Okay, so this is how they're all looking after two coats of primer and one coat of paint. I was going to paint them again, but the paint gives me the worst headache. Like, it makes me feel so ill. So I'm just going to kind of leave it like this, even though we have a splodge here, which don't look that great. But whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to deal with it. But I think now I'm going to place them all out and then put marks on them where I want to drill holes in them kind of deal 
um, so I could feed the lights through. The lights are coming today, so I kind of want to get this done as soon as possible because, yeah, I just want this to be done. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to place them all out, put marks where I want to drill stuff, and then glue it all together. Actually, no, I should drill first, <laughs> then glue. Um, so that's what my plan for today is. And then hopefully the lights turn up at some point <laughs> so I can just put it all together and then stick it to my wall. Okay, so this is what it kind of looks like laid out. So that's what it would look like on my wall kind of thing. It's really long. Um, but yeah, now I need to put dots. I've got a Sharpie here of where I want to drill holes. So the lights, so the plug will be like down here or whatever, I'll be further down, but you get the point. <laughs> so, Basically what I'm going to do is the lights will feed up from the plug and then first of all they'll go round the outside like this and then they'll come to the top here and then I'll feed them here and then it's going to go round like this, through the hole, round like that, <laughs> down there, through the hole, down, up like that. I think they'll have to put the, oh shit, where should I put the hole for this one? I think it's going to have to go here um, and then it'll go round like that down here, through a hole, down here, and then out here, and then back round on the outside like this, like that, like that, like that, like that, like round like that, <laughs> round like that, in and out there, and then at the top there, it'll come back through, and then I'll do the in this inside here, if that makes any sense. So the lights will come through here, so I probably should start working from the top, to be honest, because that's when it's first going to be fed through. Probably do hole at the top here somewhere so I need to put a dot um, somewhere in the middle I'm just, just so I'm just doing this so when I drill um is that in the middle mm, let's just sit here just do it like that and then if I do it on the other side as well somehow like that um I guess the best place but the hole at the bottom would be about here-ish maybe I don't know We'll figure that out. Okay, so I've dotted it all up. I now need to drill. <laughs> oh boy, I'm scared. I've never drilled before. Okay, it is time to drill. So I got this drill from Argos. It was like 15 pounds. It was super cheap. And then I've got these drill bits here. Hopefully one of these will be a good size. I've got some LED lights behind our TV. So I'm going to try and match up like the size with the LED lights behind the TV, if that makes sense. So I'm guessing probably number eight is gonna be the right size. I don't know, I'm gonna see how thick of a drill bit I need. So here's the TV. <laughs> and then we've got these like LED strips behind here. And I think the eight is about the same size. Might have to make the hole bigger, if that makes sense. So like drilling it a couple of times. We'll see. That's ugly like bay. Hey. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am scared. <laughs> it took me forever to figure out how to put this all together. I don't even know if this is right, but it's really heavy as well. Like what is the need for this kind of heaviness? So I've got the bit of wood here and I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh my sweet lord. Through. We're nearly through. We're nearly through. Oh, I did it. There's a hole. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to make this a little bit bigger. So if I just move all this out of the way. So that's what it looks like like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go up a little bit. Don't wanna go up too high, just so it makes more of a hole. I don't wanna split the wood if that makes any sense, because that's not gonna be good. big enough but um yeah i'm gonna drill the holes in the rest of these and then i'll come back okay so i thought i'd show you my progress i've got uh three more to do <laughs> but this is how we're going so far so i just basically drill like a oval shape i guess into them um 
that's what you want to call it i don't know um but yeah i've done most of them and i checked on one of them uh, which one was it the first one that i did was it the e i think it was an e i basically lifted up the led strip at the back of the tv just peeled it off a bit and to see if i could get it through the hole and i can so i've pretty much measured it as, as if i can get my thumbnail in there a little bit that means the led strips will fit through the holes hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed um I might just give it another go once I've done drilling all the holes into them and stuff. And yeah, if I can get a LED strip through there, then we're all good. So, oh, we're getting places. Okay, so all the holes are now drilled in. I have made an absolute mess. So if you're gonna do this, just make sure you're in a place where you can clean up. <laughs> but I'm now gonna glue it all together and hopefully line up all the holes and stuff like that. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna mess this up. Um, I'm basically just using a uh, No More Nails wood adhesive. So I don't wanna be putting like screws and stuff in here cause you'll see them cause the wood is so thin. Uh, so I thought like using a super strong glue like this um, would work, hopefully. Okay, so I've lined them all up with the holes and stuff and now I am going to glue <laughs> okay so you're probably wondering how i got from the clip that i just showed you to this <laughs> well let me tell you it was oh my god it just kind of went all downhill from that point on so i was meant to glue all the letters together and then you know it would become a full sign <sighs> That didn't go the way I wanted it to though, unfortunately. It just did not work. <laughs> the glue was not sticking at all. Um, I don't know whether it was the paint I used or I wasn't giving it enough time to dry. I don't know what it was, but the glue was not sticking at all to stick all the letters together. So I thought I would use super glue, <laughs> nail glue. None of those were also working. They would all like crack off and just fall off for whatever reason and the sign or the wood isn't that heavy at all they're very very lightweight so it i don't know it might have been the paint i used i'm not sure but then after that um when nothing was sticking together i kind of just had a full-blown temper tantrum nap i basically went and had a nap <laughs> <laughs> because it wasn't going my way and I couldn't figure out how to get around it and I'd also tried nailing together as well but that wasn't really working because I couldn't get the nails into some of the letters because some of the letters are weirdly shaped the A and the C you know like getting them two to stick together was not happening at all so yeah I had a temper tantrum nap and then when I woke up I was just like wait a second I'm pretty much gluing or sticking these letters to the wall. I'm not putting nails in my wall or anything like that because me and Tom rent this house. So we can't like puncture the walls or anything like that. We can't damage the property because it's not really ours. Like we rent it, but we don't own it. So I always hang up stuff with this kind of sticky double-sided Velcro situation. So I used, um, they're called command strips. Basically it's like a double-sided sticky thing, but with Velcro, so you stick one thing so i've got this print here that i need to get a frame for um but what you would do is say this is in a frame you would stick this side onto here like that and then you would stick these two velcro bits together like that so you can hear the velcro and then you peel this side off here and then you stick it to the wall like that so i was like wait a minute let me just stick all the letters to the wall <laughs> like duh so I did that and I was like, right, we're back on track, amazing. I'd stopped filming at this point because I was getting so annoyed. After that, I had to put the lights through all the holes that I made. So I had this 40 meter strip light, just one long light strip of the LED lights. And I started to stick it all through, feed it all through, it all was going well. It was a bit messy, it was getting very, very tangly. I was getting very frustrated because it was so long and feeding it through little holes and stuff. The holes were perfectly fine, um, but they just weren't, it weren't happening. So I called my assistant, AKA Tom, <laughs> my boyfriend, and I was like, I need your help right now. And he come and helped me as best as he could and then the lights just like stopped working from a certain point so i'd say about one quarter of the lights were working and then the three quarters that was left just stopped working unless you pressed it on a certain point and tom bless him tried to make them work he tried to like diy something to make the like the pressure point stick 
that wasn't working so we come to the conclusion of fuck's sake we're gonna have to take all of this light off I was scared for the paintwork that i'd done it i thought oh my god i'm gonna have to paint it all again take it off from the wall uh luckily the paint was fine we had to undo it all and i had to order some new lights from amazon this time i still ordered i think a 40 meter light strip but it come in two so it was two light strips so i think it was like 20 meters each and that was so much more easier to do and then you kind of connected it and then it becomes like one light kind of hard to explain but that worked so much better and here's the final product does it look like a neon light no <laughs> does it even look like anything special no but i made it myself and there was a lot of trickiness a lot of stress that come with it and honestly was it worth it oh, i don't know but it was a fun project and you know nothing ever really goes your way <laughs> as much as you think it will obviously stuff gets in the way and stuff goes wrong the whole thing is you know it's kind of cute the way that i filmed though is at an angle so you can't really see the lettering all that well um but if i was to like if i film with my phone camera you'll see what it looks like so this is what it looks like directly on like that this light situation here comes with an app like there's an app that you can use with it and you can change all of the lighting and the way it flashes it also flashes to music as well which is pretty damn cool so at the minute i've got it on like a pinkly purpley just to match the lights that are you know behind me right there um, but if I want, I can have it like already pink, I guess. And then there's like yellowy green and then all of these like blues and purples. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I can have any color I want. And again, like I was saying, it flashes to music, which is kind of cool, right? I mean, you can have your own music. It, the, there's like this little box at the bottom there that has like a microphone in it. It can like flash to that. And it also has a mic thing. So you can either have it on phone mic or external mic and then like if I talk into it it gets really fucking violent and it's yeah flashes like that to the sound of my voice which is pretty damn cool but it is on like a lower brightness setting because when I whack it right up so this is as bright as it can get it kind of blurs it out a little bit and you can't really see it from the side I don't think. I don't know I can't really work it out <laughs> but it's like overblown a little bit but then if I show you guys on my phone this is what it looks like with the like full pelt there so it looks kind of cool um, unfortunately my camera just won't pick it up or maybe it's the lens that I'm using because I am I am using a wide angle lens like this lens is kind of well ever since I've moved in here and started filming in here I've been using a different lens because I would normally use this uh, lens which is a 24 millimeter um, but it's good at like blurring the background and stuff but this is wide angle and it gets as much in the background as possible so it makes this room look very small it could be the angle that I'm filming at because I'm not directly on it I'm at the side of it kind of thing because like yeah we're at an angle <laughs> you're in the corner of the room basically I mean it's one of those things like I've done it now would I ever do it again no am I gonna make this for anybody hell no <laughs> I don't think anyone would want it anyway <laughs> But you know, it's it kind of describes me as a person, you know, like I tried. <laughs> I really did try. Okay, I thought I'd show you what it looks like uh, with like no filming lights on or anything like that. And this is just what it looks like as a whole. And I thought I'd show you like more of an up close kind of deal so you can see it in all its glory. So yeah, this is what it looks like up close. So these are the LED strips here. They are double sided you just stick them down and basically how i did this again is the lights or the plug the plug switch is down here obviously it's a bit of a mess and then the cable goes up here and i stuck it down like that up there up there up there up there and then it feeds through the hole just there and then i stuck it down here all down one side and then through the hole like that and then the other side is the exact same so there's a strip on each side basically as you can see there's a hole there for the R that's one strip there and that went all the way up there like that to there and then in like that and that this side like the is, it this, is this the right side <laughs> the right side was harder because I've obviously got you know an R and then the E and the A and the C and the L like there's a lot more weaving on this side compared to this side but yeah it's looking 
It looks really nice when it's dark, but I obviously need filming lights to film with. So that doesn't help, but yeah, it's cool. It's cute. Let's change a color. Again, this is like the app for it. Let's change it to like a pink color. And then, yeah, and then this changes to the three colors there. And then this one's a seven one. And then we've got like a cross fade right there, which is really nice. So yeah, that's what it's looking like. So yeah, that was the journey of making my own neon sign. <laughs> Nothing like a neon sign, but you know, I would love to know your DIY fails or your DIY successes. Like what have you made yourself? Do you art and craft? I know a lot of you guys like make stuff, whether it is just art or prints or little finicky things or you knit or crochet or um, cross stitch. Let me know how that journey is for you. <laughs> and yeah, until my next video, bye.